and cast imaging plays a huge role in our insights platform in terms of how we do. Now, Chigat, here's a, I have a question for you. This is what I call the moment of truth question. A lot, a lot of folks are very interested, and I often get that in the field. What are the tangible benefits have you measured thanks to CAS, to the use of CAS by your ADM teams? Yes, as we kind of went, uh, when we signed up with CAS early in 2020, and mm -hmm. immediately, you know, within a month or two, we were hit with pandemic across the globe. Right? And at mm -hmm. that point, in time, we had two very large transitions that were already planned, the deals that we had won, where we were supposed to take over maintenance and support for close to 700 applications from two of our key customers, one in the US and one in the South Africa region. Mm -hmm. And that is that was our first sort of moment of truth, so to speak, with CAST, is that we immediately looked at how do we really leverage CAST in uh, shortening the knowledge transition time required for all of these applications so that our people are able to understand uh, what they are taking over in a very short period of time and especially in a situation where they had to take that knowledge from everybody being remote, right? Where earlier you could have been uh, with their incumbent team in the same room and learn from it through interactions, you had to cut down that interaction time given that everybody was remote. And that is where the first benefit for us, where we were able to cut down our transition time by almost 50%. So a typical five to six months transition for such large portfolios of application, we got it done in three to four months. And we got it done with a much lesser, I would say, pain and friction in understanding of the knowledge and people who are also uh, mm -hmm. up to speed uh, running uh, quickly. And of course, we've used it in the application modernization solutions as well. So mm -hmm. then what, do you, what do you see on the slide here? This is the uh, real realized benefit for us, right? Uh, 20 to 30 percent reduction in the efforts on transition, and as I said, 50 percent reduction in the time. Mm -hmm. We were able to reduce close to 30 percent in most cases, 40 percent in some cases, the rework during coding. We've been able to avoid a lot of defect ingestion, right? So the whole defect density has come down, where people who are doing changes to the existing applications were able to be very cautious about not mm -hmm. inadvertently introducing more defects and that's mm -hmm. helped us get defects. The other piece I talked about in the canvas inside, right, what we have done is a lot of knowledge assets that gets generated in, the, in your entire software development life cycle. Mm -hmm. We've been able to sort of anchor that knowledge onto cast imaging uh, framework. Great, great, very useful, very clear, thank you. Hey, uh, Rado and Kevin, if I may also invite you guys to the virtual chat here. We do have some uh, Q and questions coming in from the crowd. But this one, I guess, Nat, you could, you could, you could uh, enlighten the crowd here. The question is, how? then how did your team react to using cast imaging when it was first introduced to them? So a lot of pushback, hard for them to get used to. What, what did you face? What was the reaction? I would say majority of the people were uh, surely excited about um, uh, leveraging something like CAST because as I said, it was a solution that was solving an immediate problem that they had. Uh, so, uh, um, and because we started focusing on use cases where we knew that there is an immediate benefit, I think that uptake was, uh, was much better. Clear. And, um, well, the questions are coming in. Uh, there's another one. Uh, how did your developers learn about the applications they were there to be working on before you start using CAS? Is CAS imaging replacing some other technologies, tools, or is it augmenting what you already had? So, uh, I would say that we used to have a uh, lot of point solutions plus a manual combination to do what cast imaging is helping us do today, right? So there would be uh, utilities and solutions by specific technology stacks that either teams would have built themselves or available uh, in the marketplace that does good job of certain technology uh, stack components. And people will typically use that plus document it manually as a part of transition, as part of onboarding or, or as part of, you know, uh, augmenting the teams 
and use that into knowledge repositories to track it. So it, it's mostly that. With cast imaging coming in, we are able to do that sort of in one place. And most importantly, as I said, uh, we've integrated that in our overall engineering ecosystem so it becomes seamless for all the engineers. Mm. So with that, uh, Natchiket, thank you again uh, for being our guest. Uh, a lot of valuable input and insights uh, from India here. And 